Hello everybody and welcome to the Sages Play, Europe Universalis 4 as the Ottoman Empire. So last uh, time we conquered some Hungary and now we're making ways to conquer Austria. Bohemia just became the Emperor and initially I thought this is awesome because Austria will lose a lot of uh, force limit because of that. But now I kinda see that... Bohemia will probably join in a war with Austria and I don't think there is much we can do against it unless Austria declares war upon us which is unlikely I think um, I think also the new rules prevent us from declaring a war together with Bohemia on somebody else and then declare war on Austria but I'm not sure we can try it maybe declare war on Venice for Istria and see if that works but I really doubt it but first sell him the first called Grimm was an aesthetic man with a sharp mind seeing the threat of the great Christian navies especially the Venetian one well not that much he realized that the Ottoman Empire had to greatly expand its navy in emulation of the arsenal in Venice he thus ordered the construction of construction of the Imperial Halleck shipyard in Constantinople the great shipyard stood complete in 1517. That's passed already, but fine. Uh, we pay a whole lot of ducats for ship cost reduction, forever. Against the diplomatic power or military power. Even though I like the military power, cheaper ships forever. Too good to pass up. Speaking of cheaper ships forever, let's build a couple of galleys. And we have a truce with Venice I believe. Oh! The Protestant Reformation. Interesting. Protestant is now enabled. The religion in Moldova changes to Protestant. Moldova, Moldova will be a center of reformation and religious seal. So it's over here. I really hope he won't be converting my Sunni provinces. Because that would suck. Well, let's fabricate a claim on Istria. So let's see. Hey, he's converting at least Poland. And if they're Catholic or Protestant, doesn't matter for me. They're both her heresies, so. And both. Oh well, this actually does some progress. So we need some extra piety, or actually a inquisitor. Or can we do? Nah, we can't do this one either. He needs more administrative power. Especially the fact it's at like 99%. It's really, really sucky. But uh, it's my own fault for reducing piety. If we declare war on Venice, then we'll get some piety back and he will be able to convert that place, but uh, until then, uh, tough luck. Some extra garrison size and keep fabricating claims. Well, we don't want to have a so, so crane will be fine. And with the next military power tech, we can uh, get a lot of extra new men. And we shall. We have enough manpower, we have enough money. Do yeah, uh, reverse course, narrow minded. Gain missionary strength and technology costs up is not that bad, I think. Well, we're almost at this one, so maybe we should wait for that. Buy this technology and then reverse course. So now they should be converting again. Hooray! Uh, let's let's do some easy ones while we still can. And we've gained the conquest cost belly against Venice. Some galleys are done, not all of them though. And I should actually send you back to Constantinople because I want you upgraded. All the ships can be upgraded now. And it will cost me quite a lot of money, I think. Only 542 ducats. That's pretty cheap. Yeah, let's upgrade them. 
we can now declare war on Venice, but we don't want to do so yet. Um, we, I'm gonna try at least if we can get war with Venice and then declare war on Austria. If Bohemia would actually join me against Venice, that's a good question as well. And Bohemia can join me there. Talking about those things, I didn't check upon this for a while in my allies. 33, 29, 52, you're not an ally anymore. 32. Um, maybe Poland. Um, 12 months. Nah, it's not yet. It's not time yet. But I should ask them to prepare for war, probably. Um, Bohemia as well, when the time comes. Because first we need to get this idea. Then we need to train the troops. It's gonna be uh, a bit. Wait, what? Did Bosnia got converted? The religious seal was almost over, and now there's new renewed religious seal. Well, I'm happy that these are not being converted yet. Uh, at least I'm converting them. Oh, the army reformer died. That's sucky. Uh, sure, take a fort defense guy. Mainly because we need the power points. Or maybe we should remove the vo focus altogether, like this. Get a more equal spread of the points. Don't really need uh, administrative power now. Uh, it will be a while before we can reach 10 anyway, so that's fine. Gain piety, yeah, we should now. Even though I wanted to go to low piety route, uh, conquering so much heretic territory really requires me to have a high piety to actually convert them. Ooh, the expansion of the royal bu bureaucracy. Suleiman was probably the greatest of the Ottoman sultans, called Kaninu, Kanuni, lawgiver. He was unsurpassed administrator who realized that the power of the provincial base had to be curbed by a strong central government. Thus, he struggled to promote a powerful royal bu bureaucracy which was not popular in all camps. I can lose the stability and for as long as he lives get cheaper ideas and technology costs, higher national tech modifier but a uh, higher stability cost or gain stability and limited reforms gives me some administrative power. How old are you? 41. Yeah, let's do it. I think we'll be getting enough benefit out of it because now we need 320 points only and getting that quicker is probably really strong uh, our rifles are only Castile and Austria at the moment let's see if we oh not even Cast not even Austria right no I don't want to release anybody uh, oh, actually I want to mark this as a special place of interest those are special places of interest as well. And mark this one as well now. And we can only add Poland, so that's kind of bad. Mimar Sinan's great construction. Mimar Sinan planned and oversaw the construction of countless mosques, aqueducts, bathhouses, bridges, palaces, caravansaries, and schools during his half a century long career. His masterpiece were the Sulime and Sulimayane Sulaymanye Mosque in Andrinople and Constantinople respectively. Build cost and development cost until the end of this guy's life. That sounds pretty good. Or 50 min power. No. I'm not sure if we will, but it would be cool if we can actually profit from this. Because I still want to make Constantinople 60 development. And a small discount on it uh, should help. Capital city. Yeah, the more development we have in our whole empire, the bigger the capital city uh, 
reduction gets because it counts the total amount uh, of our development and sees that our capital is not big enough so it wants to make it bigger and I'm fine with that a court painter is available hell yeah uh, actually let's go up to three again this way we have some uh, stability to lose which we probably will so I want to convert these places Varasat will be the first because I don't want them to become Protestant we can do the last idea let's do so alright then I should ask you. oh you're in war already Brandenburg, Hungary, Brunswick, Mecklenburg and Utrecht you probably won't be joining my war over here then right? no so that's that's already a failed Burgundy will join here Florent, Saxony and Palatinate will as well Poland is allied to the Holy Roman Emperor oh they will come in then as well won't they? Oh, uh, that's a problem. Because he became a co-belligerent. Yeah, I don't want to fight. So who are your allies? Except for me. Poland. Yeah, Poland is the important one over here. And how soon will you join a war here? fighting another war, you're in debt, your war exhaustion is high so how likely do you think Poland will actually come into this war? because if it's, if it's just Bohemia, Austria and France against me and Burgundy I think I will be able to do it especially because we can have 140 men I don't know, I don't know. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six armies. So let's make sure that everybody has your 4,000 cavalry. Let's say uh, you get 4,000 extra manpower, and everybody first has four cavalry. So it's two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you get another four normal infantry. How much calf do you have? Zero. Um, let's make it eight for you. Six, seven, eight. Well, actually, that's probably unwise. It's already a really big stack. So that's 22. That brings us to 109. That leaves us a 30 extra guys open. Probably they should have more cannons. Uh, cannons are pretty strong and uh, they fire from the back row and all that cool stuff. One, two, three, four, five guys. So if I give you all four cannons that will bring us to 20 extra men. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So that leaves me with ten more men to spend. Now let's give everybody extra cavalry so in total to 12 extra cavalry which brings me two over my force limit and that's fine I guess one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yep yeah. 
our manpower dipped humongously low, our money dipped quite a bit as well, but it's fine. We will regain that or quite quickly anyway. Is everybody done constructing? Yes. Alright. And now for my next trick. Uh, two go over here. Two go over here. Two go over here. And two go over here. And you two move over here. Okay. So these are cannons. No, they're calf as well. I have no idea. Okay, let's regroup. Let's redo this. Let's meet everybody over here in Constantinople. Everything that's newly built. And about 50% of you should meet in the province next to it. Otherwise, it probably will be too big. And we'll see what we have. Alright. We have some cannons. Cannons move over there. We have a lot of cavalry. Cavalry move into Constantinople. And some infantry. Infantry move over there. Some conversions. Okay. The cavalry. You deserve six out of it. Go there. There's probably another one who deserves six out of it. You, for example. Is there another one who needs six? Yes. Alright, you need two, four, two. So I'm too short on cavalry. Okay, we'll see where... Oh no, there's a 12 stack here. Two. Four. And we have too much calf then. I think I might have built some cavalry instead of cannons. Over here. Okay, that's the cavalry. Let's move you out. Okay, let's check on the cannons. You need... Everything needs four. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we are missing cannons. Because making three... Three split in half, go there, and you go there. That's not enough. Let's send everybody there first. Of course, now we get cheap iron. Well, that's actually not bad since we need to add some extra. Uh, cannons. Alright, so you're now 12, 6, 4. Uh, oh, there are cannons over here. And you need 2,000 extra men. You need 4,000 extra men. And you need 4,000 extra men as well. I think I might have screwed up some of the building. Cannons is clearly not the thing that I have too much of. Uh, three. Or I just don't remember how I wanted my armies to be. The base lose some influence, that sucks. So, you need nothing. 
4,000, 4,000. So another 6,000 infantry needs to be produced. You both can go over there. So I have 5,000 cannons and 4,000 horses. Yeah, probably not what we want though. So let's cancel. Let's cancel you. Build 6,000 infantry. And then we should be fine, I think. Two go over here. Four go over here. It does look like a really strong uh, army th like this. We will suffer a lot of attrition with it. Okay, let's see. 1264, 1264, 1264, 1264, 1264, 1264, and 1216. Yeah, this is the army build we're moving towards. Do we have enough manpower to actually go for an extra cannon row and everything? Yeah, we can. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. More cannons is more power. Court Painter. Oh darn it. This would be glorious, but we already at maximum stability, so let's not hire him. Save the money. Of which we're not making so much anymore. Probably because my army maintenance rose like crazy. Yeah, it did. I think it can even be profitable right now to raise war taxes when um, we're at war. Because it reduces our land maintenance modifier by about 20%. That's a lot. Alright, the war galleys are ready. Yeah, they're quite better. Quite a lot better, actually. Mm, I'm not sure. Yeah, we should gain the piety. Alright, I think my army is ready. And I see that Austria is at war. They are the target of a coalition. And the, is it a coal? Oh, they are of a lot of wars. You have a couple of wars. So maybe this is the moment to strike. Strike while the iron is still hot. I'm not afraid of your allies, I am afraid of uh, Bohemia at the moment though. But we'll see. Cancel. Declare war. Poland, fighting another war, has some war exhaustion, so he don't doesn't want to join me. France is out of the picture as well, right? So that makes it even better. Burgundy doesn't want to join because they're fighting in another war as well, but that's fine. Yeah, I think we should just try it. Right? Yeah, we should. What could go wrong? We are the greatest in the world anyway. Let's move you over there. Wait till the 1st of October and go and attack. Straight into Vienne. It's farmland, probably. Declare war. Take Vienne. Here we go. And the conclusion of this war will be seen in the next episode, hopefully. Thank you guys for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.